Here we are, here in the valley, by the riverside. We have our peace, we have our freedom, if only for a time. Welcome back to the sawmill, friends. It's Tuesday, July the 7th, and I'm not sure when you'll be watching this video. Hopefully by Wednesday or Thursday if I get this editing done. Got a lot going on this week. Got some footers being dug tomorrow for some more concrete work down at the timber frame. We'll talk about that in the next video. I'll probably do some videos showing that going on. And uh, more barn work this week as well. Got some posts to make some tie beams to do some joinery on a lot of stuff going on you know in the last video i talked about instagram and i appreciate everybody responding to that i got about three or four hundred followers on there and i appreciate that and i talked about putting stuff on there that doesn't make these videos and some people kind of said you know i don't have instagram or i don't even follow social media and stuff like that and i don't blame you if you don't but if you do then an instagram is a good way to find out what's going on here either before the videos come out or sometimes, or most of the time, stuff that doesn't even make it to the videos. So check that out if you have time. I'll leave links down below to my Instagram account. And on the stories feature on the very top of Instagram, I put a lot of stuff on there as well. So today's video is all about sawing, and it's a good day to saw me, old guys. It's raining, it's about 81 degrees here. The humidity's not bad. We're in the dry, there's no thunder or lightning. Perfect sawmill weather, you can't beat it. And I have a really nice log on here. This is the second log out of that mulberry tree from the previous video. This log is a customer log. He wants these cut at, I'll have to look at my notes before I start sawing into this thing. I think eight, eight quarter, I believe. That's what I would do, eight or nine quarter. Now this log is a little bit over five feet long, but one of the best features is we have a fork right here, which means possible crotch figure right there in the middle. Now remember in the first video, I told you guys I've never sawed mulberry before, so this will be a new experience here. I'm not sure if this will have crotch figure like walnut and cherry, or it might just be plain, where you see the grain go in two different directions. And that's probably what'll happen right here. It'll probably look nice, but I don't anticipate anything that's really gonna knock your socks off like walnut does, but you never know. The uh, diameter down here on the small end is 24 inches. Up here on the large end, it's about 30. I had to make a skim cut over here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Before I even started videoing today, it was a little bit too wide. It flared out right there on that top end, and it was about 40 inches actually, which is too wide for a wide head LT40. 34 inches is about as wide as I can saw.
that went pretty good. I got two slabs cut. We'll go ahead and pull these off and do a little quality control and make sure everything's going okay and everything's cutting nice and flat. And then we'll continue on. Very nice. I tell you, this sawdust looks like cornmeal. It's like you're, you know, it's kind of funny. I watched the uh, chute that's pulling the dust out. It looks like cornmeal coming out of the sawmill. Crazy stuff. All right, guys, I wasn't sure on the crotch figure, and based on what I'm seeing, this is gonna be pretty nice right here. It's not gonna have the different colors like Walnut or Cherry does, but it looks like when we get further down in this timber, we're gonna have a lot of nice figure right here. So let's look at this first slab, and I think the second one will be better than this one. Now we got a lot of saw marks right through here, and that's not a big deal. What you want is nice flat slabs, and that's what we got right here, consistency. I'm not real concerned with saw marks on a slab. You get these more when you do wider cuts. And I try to answer this in the comments below sometimes, and sometimes I don't think people really get what I'm talking about. This slab needs to air dry for six months to a year or longer then go into a kiln and then go to a woodworker who's gonna flatten it again. And these saw marks will be gone. These are just temporary. You know, this is not what stuff's gonna look like when it's gonna be finished out as a table. So don't worry about these saw marks right here, guys. As long as your cuts are flat and consistent, that's what matters the most. Because this stuff right here, this is just part of sawing. It's gone after it runs through a planer, you know, after the drying process is done. And this never comes through the camera as good, in my opinion, as seeing it firsthand. But look at that right there, that figure right there coming through. You know, it's gonna be one solid color. It's not gonna be like walnut and have the different colors going on, but that is not bad, guys. That is not bad at all. Let's pull off this second slab. It should be better than this one. And we'll throw a little water on it and see how it looks. All right, guys, slab number two. And my goodness, this is getting out of hand right here, guys. Look at this. Here's our crotch figure where it starts and ends 29 inches right there. My goodness, look at that. Unreal, guys, unreal. I did not expect this today. Beautiful stuff right there. Come on, look at that. Man, that's really nice. I, that's just... I tell you guys, this never gets old. Christmas in July, people. This is just ridiculous. Thank you. 
的来。Won't let it go, we say. Not without a fight. No matter. Be listening.